Kyle Keys and I are taking out the old kayaks tonight. Should be kind of fun. We're just kind of the three of us going out doing essentially some fun fishing. We just grabbed everybody grabbed a couple rods and a handful of tackle from well I guess Keys he he he's all prepared and stuff. He's got his whole kayak rig ready. He's the expert kayak fisherman. So should be kind of fun. I have hardly any tackle. What's up guys? As you can tell, I'm kind of out of breath. Kyle and Midge and I just came down to this little back lake. We're gonna do a three person kayak fishing trip down here. Dead end, dirt road, way back in the sticks. Hopefully some decent bass. Hey, <laughs> hey guy. A little bit of work to get into it, but you know, hopefully it's worth it, usually the case, so stay tuned. So we made it out on the lake, got my pedal deployed. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the rudder down. And then here's my steering mechanism. I'm gonna back up and get a look at Mitch who's about to dump in right now. So Kyle just hooked up on our first fish. Mitch isn't even in the water yet. This is gonna be my weapon of choice and do a 3A sound spinner bait. Then I might throw a buzz bait too because it's flat, calm conditions, but I'm gonna start out just bashing these little lily pad patches with a spinner bait. Took me a little bit here, but we're moving. Putting the paddle away. We're all kind of doing different stuff here, so I am just gonna go ahead and get a little bit more organized. I'm start flipping. Whoa! Little Texas rig around, I think. Oh, there we go! There's a fish! Nice! Second cast on the spinnerbait. Doesn't look like it's as big as Kyle's, but. No. It's a cutie, look at that. Nice. Good start. Little bucket. I love it. Man, you can get going pretty good in these suckers. Oh, there we go. Dude, that was a good one. Right on the surface. Oh, this is a good one. Look at that, just digging down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Back up on him a little bit. Oh, there we go. Nice. There's so many bluegills around in here. I got a sunfish colored spinnerbait on. And this bass didn't know the difference, which is what I like. Nice chunky one out of the kayak, man. Little lake's full of them. There he is. Got him. Got him. Not a bad one. Came back and ate it. Ooh, doggy. Nice, not a bad one. First one out of the old town. Come here, buddy. Nice, skinny one. He's long though. Nice, pretty cool. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, not a nice one. Oh God, jeez. Oh, this is a good one. Oh yeah, oh, look at that boil. Oh man, there we go. Come here, bud, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, I got mosquitoes on my head. There we go, look at that. Oh, that's another chunker. Another chunker. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Fix that skirt, but man, look at that one. Man, that is awesome. Get back real quick. I caught one. I think I could kind of want to, they're hooting and hollering over there. I got my one. I do want to fish this tree a little bit more though. Oh. 
turn myself back around. Get it up by that wood there. There's a lot of wood in here. Oh, so many open up. There we go. Oh gosh, this is a good one, I think. Oh yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> See, and what's awesome is with this pedal system, oh, oh, he just tried to jump into the kayak. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> this is a big old bucket mold. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> oh gosh, just choked it. Absolutely choked it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. He was up shallow in that wood, but like I was saying, what's awesome with these pedal kayaks, oh my gosh, that is a fun fish. <laughs> See you later, buddy. But with these pedal kayaks, so, you know, there is a time and place for them, but this lake, you know, it, it, staying out of the vegetation for the most part, and everything but in a normal paddle kayak I would not have been able to that fish would have sucked me right into the tree um, and so I was able to pedal backwards and uh, keep myself get the fish away from get the fish away from that tree along with myself this looks like a good place to throw a buzz bait I'm gonna try that for a little bit. This is Janko Buzzbait. Black. See that little spring on there? A little extra noise, a little extra vibration. Let's see if they can find this. Oh my gosh! That thing just crushed it! That was a beautiful strike, man. nice fish. Oh, this is a good one. Nice. Oh, man. Look at that one, come on, stay on. Good one on the buzz bait. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, please. There we go. There's a good one. On that buzz bait. Glass calm out. Got him on the buzz bait. Come here, look at that. That's a chunker. Those are so fun all day long. Look at that one. Nice, we can get them on the buzz bait. It's a lot of fun. All right, just Texas rigging. <laughs> I've only fished one tree. This, this lake must be pretty good. <laughs> I, I saw Kyle catch the, oh, there's another one. Yeah, he's a little smaller, but <laughs> just Texas rigging with a light weight. Uh, he's, he's not as big. He's just a little guy, just a little rat, but still cool. So this is three, three fish off of one tree. Just Texas rigging this um, Wheeler Hammer Craw. One of my favorite Texas rigging baits. Got an awesome profile. Peg weight, real lightweight. I'm only using a quarter ounce. Um, and, uh, cause I'm really not punching cover. I'm just kinda letting it slowly fall, but through that, this wood here, I guess. I don't know. I, uh, I fished one tree and I've caught three fish, so, I mean, <laughs> I would say they're probably on the wood. Some of these little patches of weeds set up better for spinner baits and some of them set up better for buzz baits, so I'm rigged with both. Covering more water in the deeper water with the spinner bait. And then a nice spot comes through where I can ride a buzz bait. I can just lean over and grab it. There we go. Mm. Mm. There's a fish. 
patch of lily pads has got a fish on it. Come on. Another kind of dinky one, but consistency counts. I'll tell you that. Come on, go, buddy. There we go. Nope. Not a very big one, but there we go. Cherry picking them. We'll take them when we can get them. Maybe I should move trees. I don't know. I just why move if there's still fish here, right? Can I get four off one tree? See, the other thing that's nice about this kayak too is that you know, even though I'm still, I mean, I'm still using a long rod here. I've got a yeah, it's a seven three. I'm still, I'm sitting up higher. You know, I'm not down in the kayak, so. I'm able to still flip and get vertical on these fish, which is really nice. So, this fish, I don't know, I was just messing, I was checking audio actually. Oh no, I lost my wheeler craw. Checking auto, audio. Um, and I just had my bait sitting out there. And then my rod started running away. And this, this nice fish was on there. <laughs> for a little bit of a rat race, but I got it done. So there we go. There's number four. And away he goes. Except I'm at a wheeler cross. And me being just, you know, real smart. <laughs> I didn't, uh, the only other plastics I brought are Cinco's, because that was a good idea. Because I just grabbed some stuff from the office real quick before we left. You don't by chance have any creature baits with you, do you? I lost mine. The one that I brought. <laughs> Beautiful night on the water. You don't by chance have any uh, Wheeler hammer craws with you, do you? I'm calling in the cavalry to get more hammer craws because I can't catch fish without them. Caught four off of one tree. Dude, any good ones? Like a four pounder. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've got like three, no, I've got about five in that two to three pound range. Okay, but buzzbait fish nonetheless. <laughs> See that sunset back there? Man. I got my hammer cross back. Now I can go catch This is my favorite flipping bait. It's just like the perfect profile, perfect size. I don't know, I just love it. There we go. Just sitting next to that grass clump. Not a real big one, but. It's just, it's really tough to beat. If I could land this fish. You know, it's just really tough to beat um, a Texas rig. I just, it's one of those confidence deals. Like I have, I have a bad little fish. I just, 
never been to this lake before, so you know everybody's got their confidence stuff and kind of we pulled up and saw that there's kind of wood and weeds everywhere. So my first stop was a little Texas rig and a hammer craw, and that's what catches them. It's worked so far. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I know. I don't know how everybody else is doing, but. There we go. Nice. I love a spinnerbait. There we go. Another cutie. Striking the hooks that are the best part, though, don't you agree? Still catching them? I got two behind you. How about you? Yeah, I've got a couple. Missed a couple. This is the one I caught four off of. Oh, oh no! Two lines? Oh, no, never mind. No! I hope I was rolling on that. <laughs> oh! Now Keys is going to go catch my fish. And unfortunately, you know, like I said, you, you know, you keep it light. I didn't bring any extra Texas rig gear. <laughs> oh man. Well, it felt like a pretty, pretty decent fish too. And what's funny is I actually noticed um, a little bit ago that looked like my line was starting to fray right around my weight. You know how that goes. And, uh, you know, I just neglected to retie. And then, uh, so I broke off. That's, that's cool. That's really, really fun and cool. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Coming up. Oh, nice. Oh, digging hard. Under the boat. Nice. Ooh. There's another last light fish on the spinner bait. Oh, that's so sweet. I love fishing them on a spinner bait. This whole lake sets up so nice. Just little, like three or four foot long patches of lily pads. And there's a fish under almost every single one of them. Maybe two, let's see. Yep, there's two. There's two right there. Man. Oh. Next cast. There we go. Oh, another hot fish there. Come on. Oh. Two fish off a little tiny patch of lily pads. So awesome. There we go. Nice. Oh, coming up. And Keys is just up. You know, he passes me up in front of me, just whooping on him. Oh, spinnerbait bass. That's like three in a row right there. That's awesome. Look at that. Oh. Gotta love that titanium spinner bait. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. Oh, come here. Oh, stay on. Oh, there we go. It's a nice fish to end the night on. As you can see, it's getting kind of dark. Kyle and I. Kyle, Mitch, and I racked up a pretty good tally out here. It was worth all the hard work. A lot of nice meaty fish.
So we just pulled off the lake. Got a little bit of a hike ahead of us. It's getting dark. Mitch just caught like a nine and a half inch bluegill. So might come out to this lake and catch some bluegill sometime. But we sure caught some nice bass. Ready for a hike up. <laughs> 